Hello and welcome back to the ocean. It was great to see you here. We're currently out in the Haraki Gulf with Floyd diving off the boat. Found a really nice spot here out of all the swell. Getting out here was super choppy, very cold, nice winter's day here, but managed to get onto a spot and it's looking lovely. Jumping in at our first spot, Floyd and I explore the group of islands, searching for where the bait fish are holding, where the current's hitting, taking drops to different depths, and trying to find some target species worth shooting. These are silver drummer, not often shot. Blue Mau Mau, a good sign, but not what we're here for. Further out to sea, we see some birds working. After hopping back on the boat, we boost over and try and get amongst the action. Approaching workups by boat is a delicate balance. You want to get there quick, but you don't want to be too loud. Often when you approach, the fish can make themselves scarce. Oh well, I have a look. See you soon, Bob. The action on the surface was sporadic and very hard to follow, but underwater, there were fish everywhere. This upcurrent side of the island seemed to be where all the fish were. This school of Kawai first approached me on the surface. However, I know my chances of getting a good shot from the surface are slim to none. So I decide to make a drop to the bottom where I can get presented with a better shot. I'm positioned on the bottom here with my gun out towards the open site, looking towards this rock where the car was for me between. Looking for one that looks like a good size, one I can make a good shot on, lining up and taking the shot. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Among the Kawai schools, I was also seeing a few Kohiru. These are easily one of my favourite fish to eat. So I'm back off down to the bottom to try and land one of these beauties. I pull the rock with my left hand, my right extends towards the fish. Kohiru are renowned for their delicate flesh, but this can make landing them quite difficult. Even though this may look like a good shot, I still had to play it out for a while to make sure I didn't lose the fish. Many other species also like to eat Kohiru. Putting one on the end of your gun can be a good way to bring in some other predatory species. As the dive went on, the Kawai became increasingly wary of my presence. However, putting the Kohiru on the end of my gun was enough to entice a few of them to come in for a closer look, where I managed to get a shot off into one. Everything has its pros and cons. Sure, doing this might bring in some more fish, but it's harder to take decent shots on them. Your vision is obscured, and of course, sharks. Right now it's winter, and we're unlikely to see pretty much any sharks. Unfortunately. Grunting underwater is another technique that can be used to attract fish, but should be used with some level of caution. You're basically imitating a wounded animal to try and bring in predatory species that you might try and shoot. But of course, sharks may also take interest in this. Yeah, good sashimi score today. On the booth. Winter time in New Zealand is a great time to improve your spearfishing tactics. The diving can be a lot more demanding and challenging, so it really can bring out the best of you. The water is a lot quieter. It gives you the time and space to work on some techniques you can bring into summer 